Hi, everyone, and welcome back. I know I'm wearing the same shirt. We, we do two of these a night, so just so you don't think that I have no other clothing. Uh, I'm here with Tim Lorge. Tim, say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. <laughs> okay, so welcome, welcome. Uh, so I guess we'll start with some questions. Sure. Uh, this is a good one. I know you're very into film and filmmaking. Yeah. Um, in all those kinds of things. So, so talk to us, how did the, did you start in theater? <laughs> no, well, how do I, I like, no, I didn't. Okay. Um, <laughs> I mean, I have a love of it. Right. Um, I played Andrew the Ox in, uh, you know, Guys and Dolls in ninth grade. Um, but well, like, how, did this, how did this uh, art artistic, this, this performance bug bite you? Uh, when, uh, how, where? Well, I started as a stripper in a small town in Kentucky. No, <laughs> a lot of us did. I mean, apart from the crack cocaine, I used to take my clothes off. Yeah. Um, no, but I mean, it's just. I mean, I, I my older siblings were all performers. I mean, they okay. I mean, they were all yeah. They were all like either in well, number they were either in choir, they were in band, they were you know in all the musicals and plays in school. Um, so it was just kind of like one of these things that the family did. Um, you know, somewhere along the way, uh, I don't know how old I was, but, you know, my parents took us to see Godspell when, uh, when it came to Philadelphia. And I think we went to the Spectrum to see it. And that ah, was great. Um, I just remember being in a huge crowd. And that was like the first time in my life. I was like six or seven, I don't know. But and it was like the first time I was in a big crowd. That scared the hell out of me. But it was great. I mean, the show was great from what I remember. Um, but then, of course, you know, we had the eight track with Godspell, and I used to sing. Yeah. Um, so, you know, then, you know, I just kind of really, I, I'm a horrible actor, is what this goes <laughs> like. And so I could never really audition and all that. And so, but I also got into stage crew. So I did that in high school. And I was like, for a couple of years there, like literally the only guy on the stage crew. And um, so it just kind of was like one of these things where I wanted to get into it. I never really figured out how. And then uh, my sister Suzanne, she's, um, you know, after she graduated college in the early 80s, she moved up to New York, became an actress and did some stuff. And then like in the early 90s, she was just like, yeah, Ben, you got to come up here and, you know, you should be an actor because, you know, you're young, you're good looking and you can sing. You'll get work. And I did. I came up. Uh, she was living on 34th Street and or was it 33rd? I think it was 33rd and like, you know, between 10th and 11th. Wow. Close to where I live. Yeah. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, this was like 94, I think. Yeah. And so, cause like she was going to work a uh, cruise ship. So I came up and I was watching her cats for a couple of weeks or something. And um, yeah, I came up and she's like, yeah, just go find work. I'm like, how do you find work? What, what is that? And I had no idea. She didn't leave me any contact. She didn't leave me anything. But um, she was just like, I figure my young brother will be go, I'll go be entrepreneurial or something. I don't know, but I wasn't. <laughs> and so I just said, Hmm, I got to figure out how to get back to New York. And then, you know, I don't know, 15 years later, no way longer. But you write, you produce, you, you do some yeah. big stuff. Yeah. Oh well, yeah. I'm doing it all now. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And, and that's, that's, it's because of my wife, you know, cause she like literally one of the reasons why I married her is I walked into her apartment and I saw the Scribner building on 43rd uh -huh. street right there. Yeah. And I'm just like, wow, this is like a sign because I'm from a family of writers. So it's just like, it's always been one of the family businesses. It's either been public service or writing. That's so, amazing. So how, how, yeah. did you, how did you get involved with the new ambassadors? Um, well, again, my wife. So we, um, we were at another theater thing and just doing something. And David and I were on the same bill that night. And um, like my wife comes in cause she's very supportive. And then she's just, and he just comes like makes a beeline to her. 
And it's like, oh my God, Stephanie, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? And well, it turns out that uh, I guess uh, Steph was dance captain in David's first show. Yeah. And, you know, he's like, oh, she's my favorite person in the whole wide world. And, you know, so I'm kind of kind of there by, <laughs> by extension because I married well. <laughs> yeah, clearly. I think more of us should do that. I mean, I yes. think that's important. Sure. Melania Trump married well. Well, she I mean, did. Sort of. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, what has been your experience with the company? Uh, it's... I, I I think I'm I'm one of the original playwrights. Um, you are. Yes, you are. And uh, yeah, I mean, Dave was just like, hey, we're going to start this thing. And, you know, he's like, I'd like you to be part of it. So I said, well, okay. <laughs> really? It's like, have you heard my name? My stuff? It's junk. But um, <laughs> that's not true. Yeah. No, thank you. I, I'm uh, telling all of you folks out there, that's not true. He writes, he's a brilliant writer. Oh, uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, I was looking over, uh, actually, because I'm finishing up, um, I call it my Irish play because it's just the shorthand for it, but it's it's this play set in Ireland uh, in 1962. And, yeah, I remember, uh, I remember hearing, uh, yeah, hearing this. Well, that. No, yeah. you were, and I was looking at the cast list today, and you were, you were in Father Mulcahy mm -hmm. on, at one of the, one of the things, so, you know, you, you can, you can add that to your resume there, Todd. There you go. Played a priest. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I've never played a priest before. I mean, you, I'm, I'm afraid I would spontaneously combust. <laughs> um, what, what is your dream? Do you have a dream, a dream of yours, like to get a, 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 a produce a TV show, a movie? What, what's your thing? What do you, what's your big dream of what you want? Okay, what is that? That is Leveling Up by Deborah Zoe Law. Okay. And uh, she was a writing instructor of mine over at ESPA. Mm -hmm. And um, I read this play and it blew my mind because, like, I'm from a military family. And, you know, like when I was a kid, I was not allowed to see Star Wars because. Or, or any kind of like war picture or anything. I couldn't have plastic army men. And mm. I thought it was just because we were a Navy family. And you know, the whole army Navy thing, you know, no. Yeah. But it was, my dad was just like, you know what? War is a very real thing. And it's not something you play. Real men die. And you know, his era men died. Uh, now I guess it's not an equal opportunity death. Um, and I read this play and it just blew me away because it captured the very thing that my dad talked about, that he believed that it was war is not a game. And um, so she just captured it brilliantly. And I want this to be my first feature. Cool. I'll, if you didn't end up doing writing and, and theatrical stuff and all that, what would you, what would you have done? Did you have an alternative career? See, that's the thing, Todd. I, I've spent my whole life just avoiding writing. Like, I had some very early success in technology writing in, you know, the dawn of the internet, you know, 94 to 90. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I had, you know, websites that were just, out of control, popular. I, I had people who wanted to pump millions of dollars into me for a magazine and all these things, they all just kind of blew up. And then of course I got gun shy. Cause I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna get screwed anywhere I go. So why am I bothering? So I put off writing for a long time, but it's that thing you just can't stop doing. You just, it's in your blood. So it's like at this point I've done the safe thing, the other thing that you're doing, it's, yeah. you know, IT stuff and it's boring. Anybody yeah. who tells you IT is wonderful, they are just way too young to know what it's about because it's the <laughs> same boring stuff day in and day out. Well, it's we're, glad, we're glad that you're writing and I'm glad so, that you're doing it now. Yeah, so I mean, that's that's the thing. I mean, so it's it's just, I think if, if it's in your blood, um, 
and it is for me. I mean, it's it's not. You're not going to be able to do anything else. Yeah. No matter how much you try. So what so far has been your? Do you have a favorite experience with new ambassadors being a part of the community? What do you think? Um. Oh, I mean, it. It it's the. <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's that rush. You know, and I have I have ADD, so it's just like that rush of, oh my God, I got a deadline, I got to get this done, and then there's that anxiety of, is this, ah, where am I going with this? Is this gonna work? How's it gonna play? And and I've had some stuff that hasn't played, <laughs> and yeah. um, you know, it but pushes you right. It, it, it it's exciting. It pushes you. It yeah yeah yeah. It, and it's just it it just makes you. Um, it, it gives you that edge. It gives you that goal. It gives you that thing. So it's that it's ability to have a structure of all right. I got to you know, you know, I, I got another piece that another 10, 20, 30 pages that have to be done in, you know, a, a month, three weeks. Yeah. And if it's not done, well, I'm going to be letting people down. And it's, it's like, oh, holy crow. You don't, you don't want to do that. So it's like that, that's the favorite part. And then the worst part is the day after. And because you're just like, you're just spent and you're just like, uh, you know what uh, now I got to come up with something else yeah. and <laughs> it's like so you 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 just have to kind of rein it in and and just uh, just kind of figure out what you're doing next so and and it's been just really helpful you know? yeah that's great um, you know, and Absolutely. it's and it's a smaller it's a smaller group uh as some, than some of the other places I've been involved with cuz you know, obviously we get up more frequently and, and yeah. that's helpful because it really pushes the, you know, the work. Well, but, Tim. I just want to say this, that you see the rain dance sign. I see that. Over there, Yeah. So um, some people know that I do run rain dance New York and a um, couple of things, a couple of plugs. I just want to get in Absolutely. Uh, every morning at eight o'clock. Um, good old, uh, you know, yeah, well, the Rain Dance London office. We'll have people on their Instagram page, uh, Rain or Instagram Live. Elliot Grove usually runs it. Sometimes there'll be other people from the home office. Uh, but they're interviewing just filmmakers from around the world. Um, check it out. Greatest way to wake up every morning at 8 o'clock on Instagram Live. Follow Rain Dance. You can see these great interviews with some great, fascinating uh, filmmakers from around the world. That's number one. Number two, sign up. For we have a new le uh, a new level of um, membership. There's a free membership, and then you can get access to all that stuff. Uh, and you know, really, I think filmmakers and actors really need to start thinking about how they're going to be working with their career. And uh, you know, as uh, a lot of people have said, you know, the cavalry is not coming. So um, start thinking about making your own stuff. Yeah, I'm going to be. I'm going to be looking. I'm going to be checking that out. Make sure you put that in the new ambassadors bulletin board as well. Yeah. I think that's terrific. Oh yeah, definitely. So cool. yeah, that's that's about all I got for now. <laughs> Thank you for spending some time with us. I hope to see you and your lovely wife soon. Oh yes, and, and we you guys. All right. Have a great night. Thank you. Hi, right, you too, man. All right, bye. See ya.